Hi, everybody. Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev. And I'm back home. <laughs> now, I don't have my uh, computer room ready yet to do my videos in there. I still had Halloween stuff to take down. I guess when we left, it was right before Halloween. Whew, so I had to wait for the sun to... And I said, son, the sun to move around before I could do it in here. Let's see what I've got on. I got a calico ghost town. <laughs> calico ghost town t-shirt. They actually had V-necks. So I had to get one. So a lot of you have been asking or wondering what happens once we get home? What do we have to do? I'll tell you, let me sit back, move you closer. <laughs> okay, first off, the day before we get home, we have the neighbor come in and change our heater to go back on <laughs> so we don't come home to a freezing house. And we get home, Bob's gotta turn the hot water heater up back on, get the water hot. and. Ooh, we unlock things from the way we locked them to turn off a lot of the lights we left on. And then we start unloading the motorhome. Oh. <laughs> so we got home around noon yesterday, which is Friday. Oh, well, to, well, Friday, yeah, because you're, you're seeing, you'll be seeing this Sunday, but. So I start back in the bedroom. I start getting everything out of the drawers, the cupboards, and I put them in stuff, and Bob starts carrying them in. And then after that, I come in here, start putting some stuff away while he does the front part of the motor home. And then I go back out when it's kitchen time. <laughs> so it took us a couple of hours, and we made the executive decisions to wait to empty the, you know, the, there's always cabinets that you get to from the outside of the motorhome. There wasn't really anything we needed immediately. So we thought, let's rest a few days. Bring the motorhome back down, empty those, and then clean up inside. Get everything clean, ready for next year. So that's what first happens. And then Jerry across the street comes running over when he gets home. Hey, you're home, you know. <laughs> Within an hour, Smokey was out back, one of the kitties. And I've got videos that I did of the, what's happened since we've been home, too. So I'll be having these follow. You can see who all showed up <laughs> of all the animals. And, uh, of course, then this morning, Bob had to go uh, to Costco and load up on stuff. So I've got a little video on that. And then, let's see, we've been waiting for the mail to come, and only two little packages came, so I don't know what's going on, but Bob's golf clubs are supposed to arrive. And well, let's see, and I also had to run down to CVS because doing it online is helpless, hopeless, to get my prescriptions renewed. And then I get down there, and some of them, they say, well, you got to call Yuma to get them to release them because they filled some of them while I you know, was en route. Such a pain. <laughs> so let's see, then too, before, uh, well, let's see, before he brought in any of this stuff from the kitchen area, I quick wiped out the refrigerator to start out nice and clean in there. Not that it was dirty, but you know, it's been sitting all winter. So uh, that was yesterday. Like I say, this morning, he got up and went to Costco. When I get up, you know, I need to do laundry that we use on our way home home. So first off, I don't know if you know it, but washing machines retain a certain amount of water in them <laughs> after you use them from the loads you've done. So I always run the a little, not a load, but I run the water through uh, on the real short cycle to get that old gunky water that's been sitting there. It helps if you put in bleach too. So I did that. And then I started doing the laundry, and so I'm on my last load now. However, it doesn't count. The sheets, the bedspreads, the blankets, the rugs that were in the motorhome. So those are piled on the floor in the garage. And as I can do it, I do, because most of them have to almost be washed by themselves. So that's the next step in the laundry. <sighs> then let's see, of course. The little animals, some of the animals have been around today, of course. 
So we just got back from the last thing we had to do, which was go grocery shopping. So there's a little video of all the stuff I got at the grocery store. We got the cat's new food. Lucy's got her new food. We're all ready to go. <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, what follows will be the little videos of each of the different, some of the different tasks. And uh, what else? I don't know. <laughs> Caught up on TV as far as deleting things that had recorded since they turned it back on the other day that we already watched on our way home. So it's a lot of things to think of. And then you always think of, where is such and such? Well, I couldn't figure out where my tripods were. I knew we had seen them. I knew that they were taken out of the closet. Finally remembered later this afternoon, oh, they're in the back of the car. We didn't empty the car out yet because it's just got mainly golf clubs and some chairs. But it also had all the stuff that I bought when I stopped to see my daughter. And inside that bag, that big bag, was my tripods. <laughs> so we're slowly finding things. And I tried to organize them, and, but it's hard. It's hard. So I just do a little at a time. Every so often, you know, when I get up, I put some things away. Then I get hot, so I go sit down cool off, drink some water, that kind of stuff. So anyway, make sure you watch the videos. I've posted up through day five. Day six will be on uh, tomorrow, Sunday. And make sure you watch my Calico Ghost Town video. That went on early this, this morning, Saturday. So, the usual, comment, share, like, subscribe. And that's how you can really help me keep an interest in doing these things is by liking and subscribing because that's how YouTube notices me and how advertisers then want to uh, put their advertisements on the videos. And that's how maybe someday I'll get a little money out of this <laughs> instead of putting all the money out on it. <laughs> So again, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. It's good to be home. It's fun when we leave in October, heading down full of enthusiasm. And we enjoy our winters down there. But towards the end of the winter season, we're anxious to get back home to the big house, as Lucy calls it. And Lucy's very happy. <laughs> so again, I love you all. Bye. Well, we weren't home before very long. And I opened up the curtains here and took the thing off, you know, that goes in the, the door. And I yelled out, babies! Next thing I look, look who's here, Smokey, saying a few choice words to, to me. So we don't have their food yet, so I had to give him some of Lucy's. Don't know if he likes it. Oh, that's, that stuff's good for you, Smoke. Yeah. I haven't seen any of the others yet, though. I've been calling them. Uh, neat pretty cat. Let's see if I can get a clearer picture. <laughs> Thinks that's gonna let him in, but I can't because I don't know how he and Lucy will react together. So that's it for now. The next one to show up is Zandu, or as I like to call him, Cousin Eddie. So Zandu is related to AJ. We haven't seen AJ yet. That doesn't mean that he hasn't come by, though. Whew. This is Zandu. How's the bud? Yeah. So far, two out of four are back. Yay! And look who finally showed up this morning. It's AJ. Hi, AJ. I was worried about you when you didn't show up yesterday. Hey, Jay. He's the bud. He's the man. Let me turn this off and get you some food. Hi, Grandma Bev here, and Bob just got back from Costco's. We just got home yesterday, and the refrigerator is bare. So I'm having him show you everything as he takes it out. Well, first off, here's the organic hard-boiled eggs. I eat hard-boiled eggs every day, so this way he doesn't have to stop and hard-boil them for me. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> He's sitting there with an exasperated look. <laughs> and 
eggs. We eat a lot of eggs. tenders. I'm trying not to get his face in here too much because he doesn't like to be in, as you know. Um, hamburger patties. Oh, looks like frozen chicken thighs. Huh? That's good. Let me see. They're not frozen. Well, they're not frozen, but natural fresh thighs. Bacon. Bob's a bacon man. Thin style coconut chicken. That sounds good. Big thing of albacore tuna, avocado oil, butter. <laughs> I want to keep these two boxes. Ooh, look at that huge jar of peanut butter. That'll last them maybe a week. My man loves peanut butter. And he likes fried pork rinds. And uh, set the, some of those things in the garage. So I'll go out there now and get those. And he uh, stocked up on our Paper towel supply, Kirkland brand, and scented kitchen bags. We need those badly. And behind that is paper plates. I think that's everything he's got in there. Oh, he did a good job. <laughs> so uh, that'll do it. Now this afternoon we'll be going to the grocery store and uh, stocking up on more there. So... Stay tuned for that, too. Or I may just add it to this. <laughs> Please comment below, share, like, and subscribe. Love you all. Well, good morning. I got up and opened the curtains, and look what I see out here. Another surprise we'll get to deal with this summer. <laughs> Fence fell apart. Like it's falling apart up in there too. So last year we had talked about replacing this fence with the neighbor and we didn't. So I guess this year we're gonna have to. Here are my friendly neighbor dogs. That's where Leia lives. So far Leia hasn't made an appearance. So I hope she's okay. Well, this is how the yard looks before we get it set up for our Saturday night happy hours. And, uh, you know what that is? It's a, a rat trap or a mouse trap, but I'm afraid to look in it. <laughs> While we were on our way home, the Terminix guy, which is the guy, you know, the people that come spray the house for different pests and things. I'm not real fond about that, but the year we came home to so many ants, we had to finally break down and do it. But anyway, he said that they uh, saw some evidence, so refilled the things. Oh, let me see if I... It doesn't feel heavy or occupied. <laughs> it's okay, babies. So, uh, just another thing to look forward to this year. Well, here's another thing we do after we get home. We go to the grocery store. Pretty much out of everything. We're not real big eaters, but you know, you notice know, two bags of cat food for the cat kitties outside. Yeah, the usual stuff. Just to get us back started. Only one thing of candy. <laughs> so that's another part of our return home. And of course, Lucy needs her food, and she has to have a special diet because of her kidneys. So, uh, ordered on Amazon, and it came today. So, everybody's got food now. Hi, everybody. Well, I finished going to the thrift store, which I found several cute things. So, make sure you watch that video. And I also got some things at the Dollar Tree. 
And I just finished getting my toenails done. I couldn't get them done before we left Yuma, so they were driving me nuts. <laughs> my feet were just a mess, in my opinion. So that's done. So my last stop is going to be the grocery store to get a birthday cake for Bob. Today, he is my age, so we're the same age now. So I'm four months older than him, so I was born. He always teases me because I was born in the 40s and he was born in the 50s. <laughs> so, because I was born, you know, towards the end of December in 49. So, I'm going to run in there and get that cake, which will be a surprise for him. And we'll be going to dinner at one of his favorite restaurants, Anthony's down in Bremerton. It's on the water. So I think he, he had invited Jerry from across the street, Jerry's sister, but uh, they had to cancel out. So I think now he's inviting this other couple, well, this other guy who golfs with him, which is where he's at right now, and, uh, and his wife. So it should be a fun evening. So that will do it for today. And this should wrap up my what happens after we get home from Yuma. Whew. So I hope you're all having a good time. The guy just looked at me like I'm nuts because I'm just driving along talking. <laughs> Oop, just past the good parking spot. Doesn't matter if I'm back here more. I can use the walk. I've lost three pounds of the 14 that I gained. So get in here right so I'm going to send Bob a message telling him I'm just getting my toenails done in case he's back home <laughs> we did our grocery shopping the other day so. <laughs> but he's always with me and this is the first year in years that I'm by myself and I can get him his birthday cake and a card so please comment below share like subscribe and I hope you're all having a good week I love you all bye I had to come back and show you the cake I got Bob isn't this adorable look at that <laughs> because he's wants to lose weight too this is the perfect size I mean they had them in all different sizes I saw this one up this is it so I got him a card and I got him the cake and I had a message that he was at the post office, so he's just about home. So I'm going to leave this in the car while I, you know, go in the house until this evening. <laughs> so I just had to share. Thank you.